good morning welcome to my channel Empress Aries 88 my name is Tanya all right I'm lighting my intentions today is a special day my friends it's 4 24 24 mm -mm -mm. so I'm setting my intentions as I hope you do the same thing make your wishes make your vows today is the day there's still a moon out there that's relatively full. This is the day to do it, my friends. There are guides and angels of your whitest light. Please give me a clear message for the collective. Please protect me as I open myself up to channel these messages. And please protect my beautiful collective. Please protect this space that I am in. And please give me a clear message from the person who is tuning in. And wants answers or wants closure or wants to know about a person or themselves thank you so much spirit for all that you do for us amen all right so i got a few cards here let's get this party started hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon and evening and i hope that this special day of 4 24 24 is good for you i'm just gonna randomly be picking cards that spirit wants me to I got my coffee. I set my intentions and I hope you do the same. Collective readings, any energy, any sign, right? Energy does not have a designated gender. So let's see what Spirit has in store for us today on this auspicious day. Spirit, give me a message, please, for the overall collective. Ooh, yeah. Oh, and Gigi, what? Marriage. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, Past, present, and future energy could be at play. Keep it in mind. So what about this marriage spirit? Give me some more information on this marriage. And on the floor. It wouldn't be a reading of mine if it didn't land on the floor. High honor. Um, somebody holds this marriage or this person in high honor. As well they should. Anything else there? Oh, they're going to, right? Okay, all right. Official person. Mm. So this person is an official person. High-ranking person. Somebody very thought... Uh, somebody highly thinks about this person. When they think about this person, it's an elevated status. Right? Could be their wife or their husband. Could be their... Uh, if they're same sex, right? Partner. Pathway. So it's like this marriage, this official person, this person that's really held in high honor. They're try they're moving towards, or it was like destined that this path would lead to this person that they think so highly of, or in the future, they're. Right now, they're not with the person. Scenarios change. Scenarios are different, right? That someday that their path will lead them to this person that they think so highly of. All right, Spirit. One more card. Baby Spirit. Put two cards. A message. So they want to message this person. Bad health came here too. So, so they could be in bad health as not taking care of themselves. Ha, adjudication is here as well. And imprisonment. So it feels like, <clears throat> excuse me, it feels like right now this person is not with this individual they want to marry. Maybe they have this fantasy in their mind they're going to marry this person. Or they could have been married to this person had really high ideals about this marriage a goal in mind for some of you you might have been married to this person they held you in high honor or you held them in high honor flip the rules but they're not with this person the path maybe led to a different avenue and at this point they feel imprisoned adjudication they could be divorced from you a separation could have happened there's bad health 
maybe this person's in bad health and it doesn't necessarily have to be physical bad health although stress can cause that right it could be spiritual bad health too they went down the wrong road they went down the wrong path and it led to their bad health they could have both a spiritual disease as well as a physical of some sort let's find out spirit give me some more information on this bad health imprisonment what happened in this situation the scenario come on in these cards are trying to come out this Let me shuffle a little bit on this. Spirit's uh, saying, shuffle it three times. Okay. All right, let's see what happens here. Spirit, what is this imprisonment about this bad health? Bad health there. This one wants to flip out. Pride. Ooh, pride before the fall, man. Somebody is a prideful person, like a king. Could be masculine energy. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it doesn't mean that they're um, male just because they carry masculine energy. Oh, my gravy spirit. Come through. Too early in the morning spirit for this saving. See what I'm saying? They feel like they're in lack. Maybe they're saving their money. It's two older people. Yeah, so there's something here about this. Something of like, when you see this card, it's like, there's such an admiration that the female is looking at the male. That they're saving money, trying to get somewhere in life. Maybe that was you at one time. You both were together and you were saving money and working hard. And you admire this person, right? You held this person in high honor is what I'm hearing. Unfortunately, they didn't. Not that they didn't feel that way towards you. They didn't feel that way towards themselves. There was a feeling of lack. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, they were imprisoned by their own self-worth. Own desires and they're lonely yeah luck they look at you as lucky maybe you've been lucky over the years they're watching you regardless or you're watching somebody that you see successful you see winning you want to apologize or they want to apologize to you accident is here change happened i don't think that they thought it would happen maybe they've uh, their bad health happened from an accident yeah but you're always so caring or they still care they want you to know that yeah but there was a path that they took this why am i an accident happened, whether it was a car accident, an injury. Oh, I don't know why this scenario is coming in my head, but they could have been with you and they got into some sort of accident, prescription drugs for the pain, and they went down a dark road. I don't know. Yeah. And they took a hit and loss. Huh? They lost you. Yeah. You gained and they lost. This person's an introvert and they withdrew from you. The withdrawal was because of their addictions. Illness is here again at the bottom of the deck. Uh, caused conflict in your relationship and a change. You might have walked away from this person based on their addictions. You don't want to put up with that. And they took a big hit in life it's almost like they hit rock bottom yeah so there was a marriage or a partnership or a commitment 
but the commitment went in a different direction because of an accident. Uh, some sort of change happened in this person's life. And even though they held you in high honor or you held them in high honor, both it, officially, right? It, through the adjudication, there was a separation between the two of you. And you went in different directions. Even though they've been watching you, they went down a dark tunnel because of addiction. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing an accident of something or an injury that they took place and it was a prescription drug that was given to them and they took that and they went too far with it it was probably an addictive drug a painkiller yeah yeah maybe they stole from you mm. yeah and you were done with that yeah yeah what does it say here yeah reputation you have a good reputation yeah, cross the borders, but they crossed the line. Maybe they had a good reputation at one time and they, they crossed the line with what they did to you and maybe even other people they, they burnt bridges with. Yeah, they dove into the deep end of the pool, uh, but this was a destined encounter and, and I really feel like the pathways are going to converge at, uh, in the future. You haven't heard from this person um, but maybe, but this isn't the last time you've heard from them. You will hear from them again. Yeah, spirits like take a chance. They want to take a chance again with you. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to repeat the same mistakes. Yeah, yeah. They want to look deeper into the details. Maybe you wrote this person off as a loser. Or you have a lot of hurt and pain about this past person. But this person's coming again. Yeah, long-term stability. Long-term and stability is what you wanted. And this is something that spirit is offering to you with this person. Maybe they want to start out as friends. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, you can give it a chance. Maybe is at the bottom of the deck. Let's go to the tarot and let's see what happens with that. But it was, it was a very hurtful situation. You gave this person a lot of chances, I'm hearing. You tried to make excuses for this person's behavior with other people who maybe warned you about what was happening with this person. You wanted to deny it for a long time that something bad was happening. But when it was in your face, when they were taking from you, when you were hit, taking a loss, you realized that it was like you couldn't change them. You couldn't keep going on the way it was going on. And you had to make a move out of there or that you're going to lose everything high priestess you had intuition about the situation and you realized that they were going to go down a path that you couldn't follow right you couldn't follow and it's sad but now they are coming out of that they're realizing it maybe they have come out of it for a while and they're in a better place and all they do is think about you and the opportunity they had with you. Ugh, spirit of brew today. All these cars on the floor. Yeah. Because it's Knight of Swords. Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe you are a fearless individual. Maybe they want to be fearless and coming towards you. I feel like there is such admiration for you and I, they're not blaming you for the situation is what I'm hearing. They're not saying you're the problem because I don't believe you were ever the problem. I feel like it was their own lack of self-worth that when you were pouring so much into them, I don't feel like they felt deserving of that. Something did happen to this individual where they did injure themselves or hurt themselves. I keep hearing this prescription drug or some addictive substance they got into to heal the pain. Um, but I feel like there was a lot of spiritual pain that this person was in, spiritual lack that this person had, that they needed to go to this karmic road, separate from you. It was destined, but it's not over, is what I'm hearing, it's not over. It's not over. There was, it was a destined encounter. They met this wonderful human being, and they've never forgotten that. Your kindness. Yeah, High Priestess is here again. 
you're a keeper of secrets you have I don't know like intuition you have like empathic gifts you're so wise but there was change there's going to be change because I believe this person is coming into their own spiritually and they're learning they have gifts of their own that's what I'm hearing yeah they had failure to give back hangman's in reverse they didn't give as much as you gave to this connection, clearly. And they're feeling the hit of the loss of not having this beautiful person in their life anymore. And they went down this dark path where maybe they didn't give a damn, you know, but they do now. They give a damn about you. They give a damn about what happened in this connection. They want you back. Yeah. What's this saying? Three of Wands. Wands is uh, the fire signs. Aries. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Yeah, they're, they're, they're planning. They want to be honest with you. They want to come back to you. They want to message you. This is the planning stages, thinking about how to come back, how to uh, approach you. Yeah. The Hierophant, traditional values. They had that with you and they blew it. I think they're getting educated though. There's spirituality here. There's something that you're teaching them. You could be a spiritual guru. I don't know. You could have a spiritual platform where they're watching the spiritual platform. And believe it or not, this person is elevating based on you. There's something about you that has changed this person. Knight of Cups. Cups is the water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And why I always mention these things, if you're not familiar, Tarot is not just... It's not just about um, spiritism, it's also astrological, so it's astrology as well. It's a different realm. It's, it's not just about, some people get this wrong misconception that Christians can't be spiritists. They can't believe in something beyond. Obviously, we have to believe in what is beyond ourselves when we are Christians because we don't see God right or spirit or the divine whatever you want to call this universe the universe whatever you want to name it faith is in the bible whether you believe in the bible or not faith the definition of it is the assured expectations of things unseen so spirit is all of that and more and so is christianity you don't see jesus you don't see jehovah god but they're there so there's a correlation a lot of times between the two it converges we can be christians as i am and i am of spirit okay i believe in both so i believe in astrology i believe in the signs i don't necessarily i can't say that i believe in the horoscopes of everyday life but i believe collectively we do represent the signs of Aries. We do represent the signs of the fire signs, the water signs, right? The earth signs, the air signs. We do have collectively those traits. So why mention that stuff? If you could be into astrology like I am. So Knight of Cups is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This person wants to show you love because you showed them love and they never forgot that. They hold you in this high honor position. They want to marry you. There's marriage in the cards. They feel like this was a destined connection that's not over yet. They needed to appreciate not only you and what you and them represented, the two of you collectively, but they had to love themselves. Because really, if you don't love yourself, how can you give of anybody? If you're pouring out of an empty cup, there's nothing there clearly so they started out with lack the cup was half empty you kept pouring into this half empty cup it never filled because they kept drawing out of this with their own depression is what i'm hearing or feelings they kept sabotaging it in some way they got injured i don't know if it was a car accident or injured on um, playing a sport or something I, i'm not sure whatever basketball i don't even know why i'm saying it but whatever let's go with it and they ended up taking medication or taking addictive pills that got them down a wrong rabbit hole and they want to come back from that 
they feel like you were the one and they let you go or they didn't appreciate you or they let you walk paths changed but they kept watching you walk that path and your spirituality your gifts that you have high priestesses here in the cards is changed this person because i'm not saying changing i feel like it's changed already so past this is the past story present they're changed okay they've moved because you've moved them so they feel in, they felt in prison for a long time going down that bad road they are on the right road now that's what i'm hearing but there was obstacles to this connection seven of wands or maybe there's obstacles now yeah and and there's pride there was pride that kept them from apologizing which they do want to apologize currently yeah the lovers is here they do want to make a choice they made a choice in the path to go down the wrong path and that could have had its own issues in relationships you know you both moved forward but they feel like queen of swords you know queen of swords swords is the air sign of gemini libra aquarius and doesn't mean that that's you necessarily that you are a gemini libra aquarius you could have it in your chart you have more than one astrological sign it might not be <clears throat> like me i'm aries that's the present that's the predominant trait but there's also capricorn you know there's also other signs that i have besides that so you could have one of those or more of those or this could be about somebody other than you somebody that's a gemini Libra aquarius but you were you might be guarded against this person you know and there's page knight they could have more of an immaturity spiritually and also age wise than you they could you could be more mature than this person even if you're younger than this person so take what resonates from these readings it could be about more than one person but I, I feel like there's hope here. I really do. I feel like there's hope, there's love, there's respect. And even if that wasn't a part of the connection in the end, there's hope for that in the future. If that's what you want, right? you got to want it too. If you don't want it and they do, then it's never going to happen. It has to be an open mind, an open heart. If you're negative, like they were about themselves, that's what sabotaged this connection in the first place, right? What is that called? The law of attraction. How you feel about yourself is what you draw to you. They drew negative. Now they want positive. Six of wands in the reverse. Yeah, pride. Pride of riches, maybe in the, in the beginning, looking for money, savings, climbing the corporate ladder. You're very proud of this person for what they did. And... I think they absorbed a lot of your love and your respect and your admiration, but they couldn't give it back and they couldn't filter it in the right way. Pride, right? All of a sudden they elevated themselves. You elevated this person and they felt so good about themselves that they moved in a different direction. Believe it or not, you can do that to a person. You can love them so much that they feel like they're better than you. I don't know where I'm getting this from, but I'm telling you. Six of Swords. Yeah, Karma Waters, you moved forward. You're healing. They are too. They're moving forward from their addictions. They're moving forward. And they're healing too. And I feel like you are a big catalyst to that, even if you don't know that. Two of Swords. Yeah, it's been this stalemate. Two different directions, crossroads. And they may be at a crossroads again. They were at a crossroads when they moved away from you. They're there again. Should they come after you? Will you accept them? king of cups now they went from the knight to a king this is a more mature person so they've grown up more spiritual person more char charming they're charming yeah 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 ten of cups family legacy they feel that way with you they feel they could have that with you that's why they don't want to give up on this connection they're hoping you won't they know that you're guarded against them maybe you don't trust them because of what they've done to you in the past but they do feel like you are the ten of cups you are the ultimate right they can't get any better than you clearly yeah baby yeah work it so this is a beautiful reading but you have to want it to okay i hope that you got something out of this 
24, 24, 24, baby. Let's make it a better day than yesterday and, you know, move forward into tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you tuned in. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe. Press that button. And I'll see you next time on Empress Aries 88. Be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.